What's up friends, Adriana here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I normally post lifestyle content and weekly vlogs of my life here in New York City and today we are cooking. I'm very excited. I did a video like this maybe a month or two ago where I tried Top Chef meals. I thought it would be fun to make it kind of a series, a cooking series. So I'm not gonna do a Top Chef meal today, but I am gonna do something that I would never normally think of making. So today we are making cumin lime cauliflower chickpea tacos. I'm super excited to try this because one, the recipe looks relatively easy. For me, anything that's more than like five ingredients I tend to like lose focus and I just don't enjoy making it but I'm trying to be a little more expansive with my cooking abilities and I also thought since this week on Thursday I'm pretty sure is Earth Day I thought I would do a vegan recipe since eating plant-based is better for the environment just because of the fewer resources it takes to produce the food. So that is why we are doing a vegan recipe today. Okay, so it's not too many ingredients at all. Oh, I'm missing some things. I, I already forgot something. We have chickpeas, cauliflower, a high heat oil, so I got sunflower oil, lime juice, cumin, paprika, garlic powder, salt and pepper, taco shells, and then tomatoes and avocado. I found this recipe on Pinterest and it's from shortgirltallorder.com. I'm assuming this is a food blog. I'll link it down below so that if it comes out good, you guys can try it too. I already have my oven preheating at 375. So the next step is to rinse these bad boys and make sure they are completely dry. It emphasizes to make sure they're completely dry before we add them to a sheet pan to go in the oven. So I'm gonna do that off camera because that's not exciting at all to watch, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did the chickpeas and cut up the cauliflower already. So this is what we're working with. This is gonna be the like taco meat. So next up, we have to add all of the seasonings to make it delicious. And it says to just like mix it all up with your hands in the, in the Pan, so that's what we're gonna do which works for me because less utensils to clean okay so we are gonna do three tablespoons of our oil and it needs to be a high heat oil because it's going in the oven so that's why we got this I'm actually really excited because I love tacos and I've been wanting to like make more non-meat meals not for any specific reason just to like try other things and eating plant-based as i said before is better for the environment gotta save the earth okay three tablespoons then we need two tablespoons of lime juice honestly i'm really excited too because i love both cauliflower and chickpeas so if this comes out good this might be like the salad that i made in the last video like this that I basically make once a week now because it's just so good. Now we need these spices, so we're going down to teaspoons. One teaspoon of cumin. Sprinkle it all over. Half a teaspoon of paprika and half a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Easy peasy. This, oh, perfect. I love it when you can just scoop it in. Paprika, paprika, I don't know which one it is. Half a teaspoon of that, and then half a teaspoon of our garlic powder. Mm -mm -mm. Smells good. And then it just says salt and pepper to taste, so do a little bit, a little bit of each. I feel like I've learned that if you put more salt, it brings out more flavor. That's why restaurant food tastes so good, because they put a lot of salt on food. Here we go. Oh my God, it smells so good. So we're just gonna mix it all together. Get, it. oh no, making a mess. I feel like I should have done this in like a bowl, but following the recipe and less dishes. So I'm not mad. I really, really hope this comes out good because if it does, you better believe you'll be seeing this recipe in my vlogs a lot. 
feel like it's sufficiently coated. Everything's got some flavor. I definitely think I probably could have done a little more cauliflower. I only did half of the cauliflower. Ew. Smells good. Okay. I feel like my oven is probably ready. I don't know how to tell when it's preheated. It's like an old oven, so it doesn't like make any noise or anything. So we're just gonna assume that the oven's hot. It's been on for a while. So we are gonna put the pan in the oven on the middle rack and bake the taco filling for 25 to 30 minutes until the chickpeas and cauliflower are browned and cooked through. Cauliflower should be crisp on the outside, but easily pierceable and the chickpeas will be crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. Cool. All right. In the oven she goes. Hey Siri, set a taco filling timer for 25 minutes. Hello? Okay, 25 minutes and counting. That took a minute. Amazing, all right. Well, I did not get all of that off of me. Okay, well, I'm gonna clean up some stuff already and then when it, a little before it's done, we'll make some guacamole or really just smash the avocado because it doesn't actually say to make guacamole, but we'll finesse it a little. All right, we're about halfway through the cooking time, so I'm gonna pull it out, my little mini oven mitt, isn't this amazing? Um, and mix it up a little. Oh my God. If only you could smell through the screen. Ooh, give it a little stir. Oh my God, this looks and smells incredible. Can you tell I love food? Okay, I feel like that's good. Maybe I should add a little salt. Back in she goes. Okay, so we have about 12 minutes. So I'm gonna start prepping the other stuff. So let's get this avocado going. I learned this a while back, the little like stem here, if you pop it out, of course this one doesn't wanna come off, you can see how the avocado is. So if it's like a nice green, you know it's ready to go. Ow. You know it's ready to go. Just go slice her down. Ooh. Oh my god, perfect. Easiest way to take out the pit. A little while ago, I had an avocado and I thought I would be able to make an avocado plant in my apartment. So I saved the pit, cleaned it off, like peeled off the skin, wrapped it in a damp paper towel and put it in a little clear box in front of the window. Left it there for a week and I was like, why is nothing happening to it? And then I was FaceTiming my sister and she was like, yeah, it takes like 15 years for an avocado tree. It's a tree to grow. So that plan backfired and we threw it out. Anyway, I'm just gonna scoop this out into a bowl. Oh, what a beautiful avocado. So perfect. I love when that happens. We just get to smushing. sufficiently smushed. I'm not gonna go full on guacamole because I don't have everything that I would normally use to make guacamole, but I am gonna put a little bit of garlic powder and some lemon juice in. Normally I'd add like some salsa and some other stuff in here as well, but I don't really have like normal salsa. I just have like a I forget what it's called. I keep wanting to call it carne asada, but that's literally just steak, and that is not not what the salsa is. Maybe I should just put lime juice in. Keep with the lime theme. Now I'm gonna go with lemon. I wanna keep calling this salsa um, carne asada. It's because it's called asada verde. Salsa verde. Lemon juice. Just a little bit. Just a little Sprinkling in, maybe some spices. Oh, maybe I'll put, I'll put a little chili powder in. I feel like that might give it some more flavor. Mm, maybe not. I feel like chili powder's not the right flavor for this. Some cayenne? Oh yeah, cayenne, that's the one. It smells right. With the recipe, it says um, if you like spice, you can add uh, 
jalapeno peppers. I'm not really a fan of too much spice in my food. And I had a bad experience with some Thai chili peppers in the last video, so we're steering clear of anything like that today. It's gone terribly wrong. <laughs> um, I got some of the chili seeds in my eye, or at least the like juices. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna try it with a tortilla. It's like a corn chip, because I got corn tortillas. Man, I forgot I don't really like corn tortillas. The recipe said you could do corn or flour. I'm sure it'll taste better once I have everything in it, but... Okay, let's prep these tacos. That when the filling is done, we just gotta put it right on. I'm gonna go for two. I feel like that's enough for this. Can always have more later. We're gonna put some guacamole down. I feel like that's a good amount. We don't wanna have too much that it's like overflowing. And then it also says to use some cherry tomatoes, so we're gonna chop up a couple of those. Use my little mini cutting board. Less than three minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna do a couple tomatoes because I don't feel like I need that much on top. We'll do five. I feel like that's a nice round number. The filling is looking good. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> Guacamole makes everything better. It's time. Oh yeah. These guys are done. Look at that. Listen to that sizzle. Gonna scoop it on. Yum, this looks delicious. Gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, now we'll put some tomato. I mean, it looks great. Ooh. All right, let's try this. First impression, I mean, looks 10 out of 10. I think I did a great job. Oh, I might have put a little too much in. Let's see. Okay, so this is where going with a corn tortilla was not the best idea because it's literally falling apart, but it tastes so good. Mmm. 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 The flavors, really nice. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I love tacos. This is so good. And it was not that hard to make at all. And it's vegan. Mmm. I think with the flour tortilla, I would like it better. So for right now, I'd give it a nine out of 10. I think with a flour tortilla, 10 out of 10. So good. Highly recommend. It took me a total of maybe 40 minutes. Prep was pretty easy. I love that it's one pan, so I barely got any dishes dirty, which is even better. I'll link it in the description. You guys gotta make it. Let me know what you think. I'm very happy with it, and you will definitely be seeing this in future vlogs. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. I am loving having some reason to find some new recipes, and this one really was not that difficult at all, and if I can make it and make it come out this good, you can definitely make it. I have all the hope in the world that you will be fine. So, that being said, I'm gonna go eat the rest of this. Stay safe and sane, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I love food. <laughs>